Hello again. This video will do a short fly from Innsbruck to Salzburg. I'm gonna uh, use the default Explains 11 GPS. Uh, we are gonna use the XLife ATC and we are gonna be flying with the Piper Turbo Seminole. So let's get into it. I'm gonna hide the yokes, turn on the batteries. Alternative batteries on. Let's do all the mags on. I'm gonna go ahead to turn on the lights now. Fuel pumps on. All right, avionics on. Let's turn on the transponder. Transponder on. Transponder is on. Okay. Transponder standby. Transponder is already on standby. I'm using plain commands for a couple of things in this aircraft, but I'll tell you later about this. So let's go ahead and file a fly plan. Now I have the paid version of XLife, but if you don't, go to the menu, XLife, and then flight plan, and you should have the same screen. So okay, so let's go uh, arrival airport, let's put that caps, L-O-W-S. Flight level 130, gonna leave the rest the same. Generate flight plan. And there we have it. So now we have the flight plan, let's bring the GPS. Now if you already have a flight plan, just go to FPL, flight plan. To erase that, go to menu. So you got the outer knob and inner knob. So with the outer knob, you go down to, oop, go back one. Delete flight plan and enter. And if I go back in there, that's it. I just have our departure airport. Now to manually enter the flight plan, we're gonna push cursor, you know, click on that, and then with the outer knob, we're gonna go to next spot. And once I click the inner knob, we get the screen where we can enter our next waypoint. Now here's the thing. We're gonna copy that from that uh, from the flight plan menu. Uh, but we're not gonna enter the seed. We're just gonna skip that and enter the rest of them. So the next one will be INN, and then we go uh, uh, next and next. We're not gonna enter the airways. We're just gonna enter the waypoints. So, and then in the end, Ancon that will be our star. So we're not gonna enter that. We're just gonna skip that one. But then we will enter our destination airport. So let's go back. So next one will be INN. So with the inner knob, uh, no, actually let's go back. Let's go to I and then outer knob will go next. And then we're gonna go ahead and select N, so back one and then next. And then we're gonna select again N. Then we're gonna click on enter. Now you see we have a couple of options. Normally, the first one will be the one that we need, but let's say in case you need another one with the outer knob, you can select those. And then we're gonna click enter again. It's gonna tell us to accept and enter again. And there you have it. Now the next waypoint it's in, and then it goes automatically to the next spot. And then you click the inner knob, and then you, uh, you do that for all these waypoints. Now I, I already have this uh, flight plan saved so let me show you how to load the safe plan but before that let me show you how to erase the waypoint if you want to do that you click on the first you highlight it and then you click on the CLR button and then obviously you can switch yes or no and then enter and then waypoint it's not there anymore so uh, so let's go back, this is the original window, uh, to load a safe plan, you go to the inner knob and you go to next page, and then to select, you go, you press the cursor, outer knob, you go down and select your uh, flight plan and then click enter, so there you go. So these are all the waypoints there are on uh, XLife. Uh, fly plan uh, window now when you load your uh, fly plan your departure airport is not in there but uh, don't worry about it uh, 
it, it just that's how it is now one more thing uh, we're gonna change that VLOC to uh, GPS by clicking on CDI this is important make sure you do that uh, let's close this we can send this to ATC you know what let me show you something else let me show you how to save this flight plan uh, let's say you want to come back and do the same flight uh, the same flight so to save this just go to the menu go down to save with the outer knob and then just click enter and then now your 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 flight plan is saved now so just save it here uh, do not enter any seeds and uh, stars because if you come back and do the same flight uh, your departure might be on a different runway so the seed might change so but you know the flight plan will stay the same all right we're gonna go to Atis get the altimeter now this airplane as you can see you can uh, change the altimeter there but but you only have three digits so it's kind of hard to set the right I know it doesn't have to be perfect but the plane command will help so altimeter 3018 altimeter 3018 so if i say that you know the the plane command will set that uh, exactly at 3018 all right we go to delivery one two three innsbruck delivery cleared to salzburg runway 08 by romeo tango tango to quebec departure initial altitude 12,000 feet squawk 6352 all right read back correct Contact ground on 123.450 when ready for push and start. Okay, read back again. And let's go back to the GPS and set our departure, which will be runway 08. All right, so we'll go to program. Click on that. For the outer now, we're going to go ahead uh, and select departure. Click enter. And that's our departure, RTT2. RTT2Q. So we're gonna go down, select that, enter, and then runway 08. See, on this case, because it's only one runway, it automatically enter it for us. Uh, if you have a different runway, then it will be a different screen for you to select and then select the proper uh, runway and then click enter. So there you go. Now we have our departure. Uh, I zoom out. Where are you? can see nothing here but you will see when we take off so now you see there is a message that comes out over there if you click on message it, it tells you to uh, set the course uh, to 257 now you can do that uh, I can you know I, I can still use a plain command for that set course 257 or set to 257. The thing is, it doesn't show me, that it doesn't animate that, uh, but the message, it did disappear, so it does set that, it's just, uh, it doesn't animate that. It does work for, for the heading uh, knob. Uh, let me show you. Set heading 080. Heading 080 degrees. So you see, it does work. Uh, for for the heading All right what's uh, next we're gonna set the altitude now here where a uh, plane command comes in handy instead of holding this button you can just give him the command altitude 12,000 altitude 45,000 feet <laughs> altitude 12,000 altitude 12,000 feet okay it's not perfect okay but I, I mean that could be my accent too so sometimes you know it does do some weird things but anyway let's set the squawk squawk 6352 transponder set to 6352 all right that did work all right so let's set make sure the rpm travel and mixture it's set and set uh, the airflow let's set those knobs to the middle and let's see what else right so everything it's set now with plan commands you can uh, give uh, the commands to change your radio frequency 
set COM1 123.45. COM1 set to 123.45. So it works with uh, COM2, VLOCK and all that, but I'm not going to go into it. Okay, let's go to ground, push and start request. VA123, push and start approved. Now the reason I did that and didn't start the engine is because I want to show you another plugin that I really like and this is free. Uh, let's see, where is better push back uh, all the way down right there. All right, so pre plan. So as you can see, I already have a, a, a plan here, but I, I'm going to erase this. Now let me zoom out and uh, to zoom out, zoom in, you can use a, a dot and a, a comma. So here we go. And this is how you set up with the mouse wheel. You can uh, turn the airplane, which uh, way you want to. Uh, and then you can well if you don't set it in the correct position see the airplane will turn red so it will tell you you cannot do that so you click left click there and then I want the tool truck to pull me there turn and pull me all the way up there and then left click all right so once I set the pad just click enter. to carpet plan acknowledged call me through the menu when you're ready all right, so now we're gonna go back to the menu, at the pushback, and then start pushback. Ground to cockpit, tow is driving up. Truck is coming up. It's funny because here it does have an accent. Uh, if you fly in the United States, it, the, the the voices changes. Sometimes it's a woman, sometimes it's a man, um, and then obviously the the tow trucks it will change based on your aircraft. Uh, it does come with uh, an animation. Oh, by the way, this is did I mention this is free? Yeah, it's it's free. I mean, this is the best uh, plugin, especially a free plugin. So let me show you the animation. So here it's gonna lower the ramp. Then it's gonna tell me to turn off the brakes. Okay. All doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect, set, parking brake. Parking brake off. Parking brakes released. Right. And then, it's gonna come back, connect the wheel. And then it's gonna pull me on the ramp. And then raise the ramp, so. Obviously, for for the bigger airplanes, the truck is different, so it's a different animation. But uh, gotta say, this is good. I like it. Starting pushback, and you may start the engines. The cool thing about this now you don't have to worry about ending up on the grass. It just does, you know, whatever you told him. That's it. So let's start the engines a little bit of RPM half mixture and then let's start the left engine and then we can go ahead and start the right engine alright and then we can uh, let me make sure the RPM like around 5 yeah that's good we can go a little bit higher but eh, whatever fuel pumps off Pilot heat, I can turn it on. Uh, carburetor heat on. It's kind of chilly out here. And where else? Hey, quit blinding me with your landing lights. Turn them off. <laughs> That's what happens if you turn on the landing lights. Alright, uh, and that's it. And as you can see now, the tow truck is going to take me exactly where I told him to take me. Now I know this is the entrance, I'm going the wrong way, but I just want to show you how this plugin works. So don't judge that. Alright. And now of course the animation will uh, continue here too. Operation complete. Please set parking brake. Parking brake on. Parking brake set. Disconnecting tow, stand by. Right, so now it's gonna go ahead and disconnect the tow. And then move on the other side. So you can see. <laughs> and the ramp goes down. Disconnect the 
wheel and then you just click on the thumbs up button and that's it now the tower is gonna move forward a little bit then it's gonna come back and raise his ramp all right so let's request a taxi i know i just let me just wait for him to finish Tower is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the left. I'll see you next time. Have a safe flight. Right. Let's go ahead and request taxi. EA 123, Innsbruck ground. Taxi to holding short runway 08 via Alpha PRON. Alpha 08 slash 26. Okay, read back. Landing lights on. Landing lights on. Parking brake off. Parking brakes released. All right, um, let's go. This guy is waiting for me to probably park in here. We can go ahead and uh, check the flaps. Flaps all the way down. Flaps going down all the way. Flaps all the way up. Flaps going up all the way. Alright, everything works well. I'm just gonna go ahead and taxi. Right, let's uh, go ahead and call the approach holding. PA-123, contact Innsbruck Tower, 123.625. All right, read back, let's go to tower, approach holding again. PA-123, Innsbruck Tower, line up runway 08 and wait. All right, read back. Transponder on. Transponder is on. All right, you can uh, give full RPM and full mixture. Landing lights are on. Everything is set. All right, we are ready to go. Uh, let's uh, line up with the runway. PA 123, runway 08 cleared for takeoff. Wind 356 degrees 0 knots. Okay, we're gonna call back and then slowly we're gonna raise the throttle level. So make sure you have the uh, airplane under control. Fly straight. Now we can go ahead and rotate gear up. Landing gear going up. Alright, so now is the, if you wish, you can turn on the automatic pilot and then select nav, not having nav. PA123. And then we're going to select Innsbruck the approach 136.120. We're going to read back. And then we're gonna initial contact the approach. PA-123, Innsbruck approach, radar contact, climb to flight level 120. All right, read back. Set for now. Now, let me show you how the Orto 4X looks for Innsbruck. And 
that's what I'm using here. Let me turn around so you can see in the back. It doesn't look bad at all. It changes the default scenery. Looks pretty good, I would say. Alright, so let me show you. So, this is the flight plan that we have. So, let's go. you know, you see all this. Uh, you can uh, click on CLR button and then you can erase all these waypoints and air, uh, airports around you. Uh, so, Here's the pad. We're gonna go all the way to RTT, come back to INN, and then by that time we should have enough altitude to pass those mountains. And I'm gonna go to Kogol and then Tulsi and that way. Well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do a shortcut here. Uh, so I'm gonna fly, you know, towards RTT, and I'm gonna cut and go straight to Tulsi. And I'll show you how to uh, use a direct button. Now these messages keeps coming up. You, know, you can change the course if you wish. You can leave it like that. I just change it because I don't like that message to pop up. For some reason it bothers me. It doesn't really matter. You know, but I just do it. You can do it manually. I'll probably use the plain, plain command for that. So, And that's it. That's what we're going to do. Just trying to keep this uh, video a little bit shorter as much as possible. See any airplanes around us? Nope. Let's check the map. There's one landing. Let me see. There's one on the left side. Okay, turn off. Actually, we can leave it on. Okay, there you go. There's a plane there. There's the one landing in the back. Go ahead and set the vertical climb to 11, just a little bit higher. We do have plenty of speed here. Just want to make sure uh, I get enough altitude to safely uh, pass those mountains on the left. Now, let me show you another plugin that I use. It's called X Enviro. Uh, this one, it's Quite an expensive plugin. Uh, does look good. These are my settings uh, for this uh, flight. So you get the weather settings, cloud settings, atmosphere. So I keep the lower atmosphere off because it does uh, affect the frames if you uh, turn it on. Uh, for some reason, I have. I thought I had this one on maximum, but it's off. I'm gonna leave it the way it is now. And these are the sound settings. Uh, so it's a, it's I mean it's expensive, but it's it's good. You know, I I like it. Now, a lot of uh, people ask me how come that uh, my X-Plane looks like this and yours doesn't or theirs does not look like uh, mine. So another plugin that I use for, for all my flights, uh, I had this in X-Plane 10 uh, and I'm using it in X-Plane 11, it's called Max Effects. Now this is a, a pay version, but this is how your X-Plane looks out of the box. These are the colors, this is the uh, default. And then I have the user uh, option here where you can see the difference. Now there's other 
presets that comes with what I did mine so I'm not gonna go to all all of them so this is mine I got the brightness a little bit up the contrast a little bit more the saturation it's a lot uh, that one I keep it uh, off and, and there there you have it that's that's why my uh, videos and explain looks more colorful all right so I think we have enough altitude to pass uh, these mountains let me go ahead and turn off the landing lights landing lights off landing lights off all right so there's two options you can set a direct to a different waypoint you can go to uh, flight plan uh, push cursor to highlight scroll down to select the uh, waypoint menu and then click enter to activate lag uh, or you can uh, go which is the easiest way to let me make sure yeah we have a thousand feet all right so we go to that button click on that we'll come uh, uh, to this screen and then with the outer knob we're gonna select flight plan just FPL and then with the inner knob we're gonna go to all these waypoints and select the one you want so in this case go back Tulsi and then I'm just gonna click enter and it's gonna tell me to activate and then enter again now you see the airplane is making a left turn so now we're going direct to Tulsi course 354 course set to 354 I'm just gonna use the plane command to set the course instead of me moving the knob all right pa123 climb to flight level 130 okay, pa123 contact bean center 108.10 okay, read back again set the altitude altitude 13000 Altitude 13,000 feet. Right. Let's go ahead and contact center. PA 123, Bean Center, radar contact, climb to flight level 130. All right, so here's the problem frequency that ATC gave me the GPS does not have that one the last one will be 11800 I think yeah let's, let's see so I don't know if this is a bug or the GPS is not set correctly or the X-Life ATC is not set correctly see that's 118 and then it goes back to 136 so for now just use uh, the buttons here on the x-life to change the frequencies all right now we get to our altitude we can go ahead and lower the rpm like and then we can lower the throttle and then rpm it's there around 25 24 yeah that's good and leave it like that all right and just make sure you don't catch a lot of speed so we're gonna be flying with 150 160 we'll see and just adjust uh now with a throttle your speed so let's say if you go back to fly plan and you want to check the, the course the distance and you know informations about your fly plan and if you want to go back to the same screen uh, you can just hold 
CLR. Lincoln Bantam. Franz Joseph Strauss information Papa. Straight to the screen. 900 Zulu weather. But for some reason Wind we are calm. catching uh, visibility Francis more than General, 10. So I'm gonna switch that to turn it off. So plane command you do have an option to download a free version but the free version will not have all these commands I think it only has uh, I think just the flaps maybe spoilers and probably the landing lights taxi light and landing gear I think that's the only uh, commands you can give now if you buy the pro version then you have all these commands listed on the screen all right let's close that and i'm catching a little bit of speed so i'm gonna the travel a little bit back over speed PA 123 contact Munich Center 121.50 okay let's read back contact center I'm gonna change that frequency again Muenk and Franz Joseph okay, Strauss information Papa 900 Zulu one. weather Com one set to one one nine or point one two five. I can use uh, plain command to flip com one. Now we can go ahead and uh, report top of descent. Let's close this. Let's go to the window. Oh, first, got a contact. Lincoln, PA one two three. Munich Center. Radar contact. Maintain flight level 130. Alright, read back and then report top of descent. PA 123, descent at pilot's discretion to flight level 110. Expect uniform November Kilo Echo 1 Romeo arrival, runway 33 in use. Alright, now go ahead and read back. Let's set the GPS. I'm gonna go to, to the right side program. Scroll to sec. Uh, select and Franz arrival. Joseph Strauss information pop in. Nine hundred Zulu weather. Again. Wind calm. Flip Visibility calm more than ten. Calm one set to one one. Right. Niner point one Enter. one five. And then we're gonna select Ankun one R. Enter. All right. It's gonna ask us to load and enter again. And there we go. We set the approach. it for now here and let's go ahead and check uh, the chart all right so this is the Ankan chart as you can see there we have to be at or above 7,000 feet when we pass Ankan so we cannot be lower than 7,000 that's a really important information that uh, need to know set course 075 course set to 075 well, let me show you something here if you click on VNAV basically you can set like a virtual top of descent so let's say I want to set the target altitude to 7000, which is uh, Ankan. Let's go back to 7000 and go next, and then next here, uh, target position. So let's set that to, I don't know, like 18 miles. PA 123, contact Salzburg approach 123.625. Let's read back. Uh, so basically, here I'm gonna set uh, the GPS to notify me 18 miles before Ankun, uh, 
then I should start descending. So let's go 16, 17, 18. Now that's before, and then we're gonna select Ancon, and then here's the uh, vertical descent. Let's select that to 12 and then push. Now, normally, you're supposed to get a message when you get 18 miles before Ancon, but uh, nothing happens. So, PA123, uh, Salzburg approach. approach, wrong ATIS information. Oh. Let's go and get a altimeter first. Altimeter 3027. Altimeter 3027. All right. Uh, we in Franz Joseph Strauss info. Approach. PA123. Identified. Expect uniform November Kilo Echo 1 Romeo arrival. Visual approach runway 33. Descend to flight level 110. All right. Let's uh, read back. Altitude 11,000. Altitude 11,000 feet. Okay. And let's descend to 11,000. I'm going to set the vertical descent to 8 for now. Uh, and I'm going to slow down here. So be careful on your speed. Alright, so let me go ahead and bring the charts here for runway 33 all right there we have it and let's set uh, the GPS we we'll go back to programming this time we're gonna select approach enter and then we're gonna go to runway 33 V which is uh, our visual approach click enter and then here we are coming from WS831 and then we are going to scroll down select that and yep and then we're gonna click enter and then enter again we're not gonna activate now we're just gonna load the approach I'll close the chart for now. I will bring it back in a little bit. Alright, so we are, let's see, 11,000 set. We are 14 miles before Ancon and no message. PA123, descend to 2,900 feet. Quebec November Hotel 1021. Transition level, flight level 100. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and read back. Let me set the virtual altitude to a higher number, minus 12, and I'm going to go ahead and set the altitude to 7,000, altitude 7,000, altitude 7,000 feet, right, let's set that one back, okay, now let's set the altimeter, Altimeter 1021. Altimeter 1021. So I got the clearance from the ATC to go to 2900 feet before I call them. So as you can see, I set my altitude to 7000. The reason for that is because if you remember earlier uh, on the arrival chart, we had to be uh, at Ancon 7,000. Let me bring this chart. So right here, at or above 7,000. So we cannot be lower than that. Just want to be on the safe side, just in case if I get to 7,000 before I get to Ancon, the aircraft will uh, hold at 7,000. Will not go below 7,000. And there you go, we did reach 7,000 before Ankan. So now I'm gonna set the altitude to 5,000. Altitude 5,000. Altitude 5,000 feet. And now we're just gonna wait to get to Ankan before we can start descending. Now, 
make sure you double check on your speed here right. we have uh, about two miles until we reach Ankan seconds left 1.2 and there we go and we can go ahead and set the vertical descent then all right so I can set that to let's see minus 10 yeah Let's do minus. Let's do minus eight. And just watch your speed. Landing lights on. Landing lights on. And just turn on the landing lights. Let me just set the course. Set course 043. Course set to 043. Alright, so now I'm gonna go ahead and bring the charts back. Now, I set the altitude to 5000 because we do have restrictions. As you can see on the screen, we have to be at 5000 all the way to WS834 before we can start descending. Right, let me just bring the GPS up close. So that's the flight path that we're gonna do. We're gonna do the approach, 5,000, and then we're gonna start descending, turn around, and then that's the runway. And then for miss approach, that's uh, that's where we have to come back to WS 831 and do the loop. So we have less than a thousand feet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lower the vertical descent to let's say four. Uh, just watch the speed. Every time you change the vertical uh, number there, make sure you watch your speed. So we reach 5,000 and now we're just going to cruise at 5,000 until WS834 and then we can start descending from there. So now I'm going to set the altitude to 2,900. Altitude 2,900. Altitude 20,900 feet. Altitude 2,900. Altitude 2,900 feet. There you go. So this is the altitude that uh, the ATC gave me right in the beginning, if you remember. Uh, let's see, where are you, where are you? Uh, right on top, 2,900. So now we can go ahead and activate the approach. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can go to flight plan, scroll down, highlight approach and then click menu and then click enter and activate lag or you can go to program, highlight activate approach and click enter. And then you can see that the aircraft moved a little bit to the left to the right so now the approach is activated. Set course 049. Course set to 049. -er. Alright, so um, see that's that's the missed approach waypoint. Let me bring the flight plan back. So here, now we're gonna go to uh, WS831 and then WS831 it's uh, again, but that's 
that's in case uh, if you miss do a misapproach that's where you have to go and to do that let's say you do a missed approach you will go to that direct button and remember how I show you in the beginning you go you scroll down to the fly plan and select WS831 and then enter then you can turn on the automatic pilot click on nav make sure again GPS is selected by clicking on CDI in case uh, uh, GPS change it to VLOC and then the aircraft will take you back to the holding point and will do the loop and then from there you'll go back and select the approach again it's exactly the one that we just did earlier uh, same runway same uh, via point everything is the same in this flight now let's say if you do this flight and when you do the approach will give you runway 15 you can select the ILS now this is where you set by pressing the uh, the left push C slash V button will change to V lock and then you can set the uh, frequency which I think it's 109.9 uh, .9, I think for runway 15 and then with that button will change it from the bottom to the top now what's gonna happen if you do that before you get to the glidescope will change the GPS to VLOC automatically but make sure uh, you select the approach button then uh, there too uh, and I believe you have to be at 4000 before you make the turn uh, the last turn heading to the runway I'm gonna go ahead and change the frequency on the bottom position just to be on the safe side set course 165 course set to 165 so at this point I am going to slow down a little bit uh, let's see if I can uh, get the airplane uh, to slow down to maybe 120 maybe 110 I just want to do that before we start descending Alright, so we are about 30 seconds before we can start descending. We did slow down a little bit, so we'll see what happens. Alright, we can go ahead and set the vertical descent to 12. Let's set it to 12. But we're catching speed, so I'm gonna lower the RPM a little bit. Make sure you don't lower too much, and then your engine will shut off. I'm gonna lower the throttle. So just play around with uh, with the speed here. Make sure you don't go too down. But let's set that to minus 10 because we are descending too fast. So just adjust the throttle and the RPM uh, to not to catch speed. And then if it's possible to slow down. See, I did lower the throttle all the way down so the stall message uh, beep came up so make sure you don't do that PA123 
cleared for visual approach runway 33. Report established. Right, we're gonna read back. There's an aircraft landing there, I believe. I see a landing. Let's see. Oh, I think he's doing a missed approach. Yep. All right. Mm, let's get back to our flight. All right, so we're like 3,000. I'm gonna go ahead and PA one, two, three. report established here. PA-123, contact tower 123.450. Just wanna do that before we make the curve. PA-123, clear to land runway 33, wind 123 degrees 0 knots. Alright, so we got clearance to land. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect the automatic pilot and start flying manually. So at this point, just watch your speed and the altitude. And then now we can set the flaps to one. Flaps down. Flaps already up. <coughs> flaps down. Flaps down. There you go. Sorry about that. Now the flaps will decrease your speed, so watch that. Just gonna put the RPM a little bit up and a little bit of throttle. I just want to keep the airplane like around a hundred, so when we land, we'll be like around 90, 90 something, uh, just to be safe. So let's bring the gear down. Landing gear down. Landing gear going down. All right. That's the runway. I keep looking at the uh, GPS screen and kind of try to follow the line. That's again the airport. We are at 2500. But that's good. Hopefully, I'm gonna land on the first attempt. I don't want this video to be too long. It is already long, but it will be very long. Alright, so you just keep an eye on the runway, speed, altitude. At this point, all right. And there you go. I think we are a little bit too low. And we can uh, double check with the uh, Light. Yes, we are a little bit too low. Now, if you're too low, don't raise your nose. Just, uh, I mean, don't try to climb. Just raise the nose and stay level. And then, at one point, you will get to the right position, and then you start descending again. Let's see. We have two. I think it's one white and three red, so I'm still a little bit too low. Alright. And that's okay, at this point we can just uh, land.
Uh, not the best landing. Oh, go left a little bit. Alright, make sure we don't crash now. Right in the end. Alright, so there you go. Travel all the way back. PA123, take taxi away Bravo. When vacated, contact ground 118.350. Right, we'll call back. And we will exit all the way on the end of the runway. Flaps up. Flaps going up all the way. So X-Life does have this option when you click on the airplane icon. It does show you arrows where to exit. Alright, exit here. Transponder standby. Transponder is already on standby. Alright. It's gonna contact ground. Oh, let's wait to pass the line. And then we'll call ground. PA123, taxi to Golf 23 via Bravo, Lima, Golf. Alright, so we'll call back and let's bring the Air Force charts to so Lima, Golf. And we have to go to Golf 23. Alright, there you go. Gonna make a right here. This one is Golf 21. Next will be Golf. Yep, Golf 22. So next one, Golf 23. Alright. That should do it. Parking brake on. Parking brake set. Okay, we're gonna lower the RPM and mixture to zero. And let's power off the aircraft. All the lights off. Mag all mags off. Let's turn off the avionics and bring those uh, knobs, the airflow to zero. And batteries off. Carburetor heats, let's set those off also. And that's it. I hope this helps. So, till next time, happy flying.